Welcome back. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. In this video I'd like to explain the networking of Cisco Unity Connection servers using digital networking or as it's known today connection sites. In the previous video I explained VPIM networking where we networked multiple devices including Cisco Unity Express with Cisco Unity Express as well as Cisco Unity Express with Cisco Unity Connection. VPIM allows for the transmission of voice messages between multiple messaging systems including Cisco Unity, Cisco Unity Connection, Cisco Unity Express and third party messaging systems. Please ensure that you watch the VPIM networking video before continuing with this digital networking video as I explain the basics of sending messages and receiving messages between multiple messaging systems. I'm now going to assume that you understand the basics of networking servers as covered in the VPIM networking video. Digital networking has been around for many years. I remember configuring Cisco Unity for digital networking integrating multiple Unity servers with Active Directory and allowing for the replication of Unity information from one server to another. Digital networking however only became available in Cisco Unity Connection from version 7. Cisco Unity Connection has made the configuration and setup of a large scale messaging system a lot easier than it was in Cisco Unity. The installation and configuration of Cisco Unity Connection is a lot easier in my opinion than it was in Cisco Unity. Now each Cisco Unity server or cluster which I'll explain in a moment, has a maximum number of users that it can serve or provide messaging for. The issue is when the messaging requirements of your organization require more than what a single connection server or cluster can handle, you need to combine multiple connection servers and their relevant directories, in other words the user information, together to form a digital network or as it's called today a site. So digital networking or connection sites essentially allow for the automatic replication of user information or directory information from one server to another. We are scaling our systems to support more users than what would be supported on a single system. So once again digital networking became available in Cisco Unity Connection from version 7. Up to 10 Cisco Unity Connection servers and cluster pairs can be networked together. So there was a restriction in version 7 of only 10 servers. If you have a pure version 8.x environment up to 20 locations can be networked together. Essentially you put a single server or a cluster pair into a location. Up to 10 in version 7 or 20 in version 8 can be networked together. So visually in this example we have two clusters and three standalone Cisco Unity Connection servers networked together. There's some major advantages to using digital networking over VPIM as well as some disadvantages and I'll show you a comparison in a moment. To me the major advantage of digital networking is that you have automatic replication of user information in other words directory information from one server to another. The setup of digital networking is also very easy. You can either do it manually which is the hard way or use automatic digital networking which is very simple to set up. Now this causes confusion so let me get it out of the way now. A cluster is where you combine two Cisco Unity Connection servers to increase the number of ports available on the servers. A single server can only support 250 ports. In other words only 250 simultaneous calls can be made to a single Cisco Unity Connection server and that once again is dependent on the hardware. If you combine two servers in a cluster 500 ports are available. In other words 500 simultaneous calls can be made to that cluster. You're not increasing 
the capacity of mailboxes, you are increasing the capacity of ports when you have a cluster. Another advantage is both servers are active. This is a major advantage over Cisco Unity, which only had active passive clusters. In Unity Connection, both servers can receive calls and the information is replicated automatically between the two servers in a cluster. One of the servers is set up as a publisher, the other as a subscriber, but they are both active and if either server fails, the cluster will continue as normal just with a reduced number of ports. So when both servers are active, you have 500 ports available. If one of the servers goes down, you only have 250 ports available, but you still have 20,000 mailboxes and you can still create users, delete users and so forth. So getting back to digital networking, in a digital networking environment, you combine multiple servers or multiple clusters together to form a digital network. Information is automatically replicated between the servers. So in other words, users on one server can look up directory information of users on another server. We are essentially increasing the capacity of users. A single server can support 20,000 users, but a digitally networked environment can support 100,000 users. So we are scaling to very large environments when using digital networking. So digital networking, once again, has been available since version 7 of Cisco Unity Connection. Up to 10 servers can be digitally networked when using version 7, or up to 20 when using version 8. This is supported over multiple geographic locations, so the servers don't have to be physically located at the same site. A standalone server, once again, supports up to 20,000 users, but digitally networked servers can support up to 50,000 users when using version 7.x of Cisco Unity Connection, or up to 100,000 users when using version 8.x of Cisco Unity Connection. Advantages of digital networking, once again, include the ability to search for users on any server, so we have a virtual single directory. We also have the ability to implement cross-server login, cross-server transfer, and cross-server live replay. Cross-server login in brief essentially means that if a user's mailbox is homed on this Unity Connection server, so in other words, the mailbox is physically stored on this server, but that user's at another site and dials into this Unity Connection server, by pressing the messages button on a phone at that site, they can log in to their mailbox on this server as if they had dialed in to this physical server. So in other words, they are logging in across servers. So there's cross-server login. This once again plays to the illusion that we have a single server and a single directory when in actual fact there are multiple servers networked together. So digital networking allows for messaging among multiple Cisco Unity Connection servers. Users can send messages to subscribers on other networked servers either by using their name or by extension. So as I showed you in the VPN video, a user could press the messages button, log into their mailbox, press 2 to send a message, and then they could send a message to either a local user or a user on another server. It's transparent to the user whether the other person is on the local server or on a remote server. They can also search for that user by name or by their extension number. This is a lot simpler than what we had with VPM. Systems function as though they have a single directory. So once again, users do not need to know where other users are located. The system gives the illusion that everyone is homed on the same server. They only need to know the name or extension number to address a message to, and messages can be sent to any users individually or to a distribution list. So in other words, where multiple users receive a copy of the voicemail. SMTP is used for both directory replication and message transfer. So once again, it's very important that port 25 be opened and be available for communication between the servers. We're not going to cover it in this course, 
but a smart host can be used where firewalls are blocking a link between two Cisco Unity Connection servers. Now in version 7.x, the term digital networking was used logically in the same way as it was used in Cisco Unity. However, in version 8, things have changed. We now have the concept of Cisco Unity Connection sites. So Cisco Unity Connection servers can be networked together using what are called intra-site links to form Cisco Unity Connection sites. This was previously called digital networking. Servers joined to the site are referred to by their locations. In other words, when a server is added to the digital network, a connection location is automatically created for the server or the cluster on all other locations in the site. And these locations begin to perform directory synchronization